Good to see you, gang. The boys are planning the Are You Garbage 2024 tour, mm -hmm. and we want to know where you want us to come. Yeah, so click the link in the description. Let us know what cities you want us to come to. We're coming to all the ones we've been to before, and we're adding a bunch of new ones. Woo! We just need to know where to go, so click the link. Let us know, and we'll see you out there, gang. We're staying at your house. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they grew up to be classy, yeah. if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Ace Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in a new edition. Mm -hmm. She's out running some errands. Okay. She had to stop at the bank. She had to see her parole officer, hit the plug. Okay. Come back. All right. All right. My co-host is coming at you, unfortunately, right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? She's international business. This man, he is the gummy bear bandit. Give it up for KJ, <laughs> Kevin James Ryan with his nice jacket on. What's up, guys? It's a shirt. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We love you. First of all, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube, as you know those numbers are. True to roof. Cooking, baby. Cookin'. And obviously the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Garbage gang. It's a party over there. Yes, it is. And having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the eyes. Give it up for T-Bone McScruff and Toby McBowen, ladies and gentlemen. What up, boys? What hey, up, pal? T-Bone? We have an absolute legend yes, we in do. the edition. Oh, yes, we do. A killer amongst killers, this uh -huh. guy. Uh -huh. Gang, the long hair ain't lying. We couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. It's his first time here at Toadies in a new edition. We love him. You uh -huh. love him. He is the host of You Know What, Dude? He is the host of Bone to Pick, co-host on The Bonfire, and The Regs. Got to check out. Give it up for Robert Kelly, everybody. Hey, a lot of podcasts. Bloody. A lot of pods. I mean, you guys are so happy one of yours hit. <laughs> you ain't lying, I'm sweetheart. I got, I'm still rolling the fucking <laughs> dice. I, I saw you <laughs> zipping around the West Village the other night in that uh, in that premium SUV. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. That was so funny. I, what are you whipping around? I got a Lexus. Got a Lexi. A little, little hybrid Lexus. Zipping around. Okay. You know, that's a jacket, by the way. Sure. Um, I'll take it. No, I saw him on the, on the street in the bike lane. And mm -hmm. I just zipped up like I was gonna hit him, yeah, just to see what type of guy he is. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, what was his reaction? Because if he's like, "Oh my god, oh my god," you know, some people, oh, he got down to three points. Nah, <laughs> Blue forty-two. He did. Thought it was an Uber. I went, <laughs> jumped in the back he, seat. He, who, the kid in front of him, whoever that was, pushed him out of the way, and he went, "What the fuck? Watch out! Watch out! What the fuck?" <laughs> and I was like, I "Exactly who I thought Foley was." He he saved a life and stepped in front. Sure. Can't park that here, buddy. <laughs> you told me you were out of town. I and said I, I was, see you zipping around. Uno momento. Ooh, Uno love, momento. A, love a good yeah. line. Uno momento. <laughs> That's Spanish. Uh, That's yeah. <laughs> is, is Babel a sponsor? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but they could be. <laughs> no, dude. I was, that was Tuesday. Yeah, I said, hey, can you can you come in Thursday? You're like, no, I'm going to be out of town. Leaving to, the next morning at 5 in the morning. I told you I'm jumping on a plane. And where were you heading? Tampa. Tampa. Ooh, love I, a nice oh, Tampa. I did a, a private event at a cigar lounge, Corona Cigar. Okay. And How it was, was uh, for me, that's, was that's, that's your dream done. gig. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking out. Get paid to smoke sticks. Me and Mike Calton. Mike Calton was, uh, who's my number one best friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've done him. You know Calton. Oh, yeah, I love know, Calton. Yeah. yeah. He's the best. So I go, Dude, come down. And he's done stand up before. He'll go up and do 10 minutes, fuck off, blah, blah, blah. My crowd's his crowd down there. His crowd's my crowd. That's his turf down there. But he goes up. The king of Tampa. Yeah. The king of Tampa. King of Florida. Yeah, king of Florida. Right? So he goes up, and uh, <laughs> and he's just winging it. And it's, fr it's like, but this is his crowd, but then there's these cigar people, which is a different world. Man, watching your buddy bomb. There ain't too many things better in life than that. Is better? Oh, it's great. It's great. You know what's better than that? Making your buddy bomb. Have you ever done that? No, but I know you animals used to do it to each other back in the day at the cellar. Me and Keith, me and Keith did it to Voss. Voss had to follow Nikki Glazer. Okay. Nikki Glazer, killing, mm -hmm. and it's all mostly young girls, mm -hmm. and murdering with these jokes. And Voss is going up. We know that fucking old coot's gonna sit, <laughs> try to bring back the energy to his thing. I went on one side. He went on the other. Keith went on this side. I went on that side. And every joke he did, we went. Oh, <laughs> I would have mm. fucking killed you. Next, oh. the whole brutal. crowd, five minutes in. 
Oh. They all drew out on board. Dude, the whole crowd. That's great. Everything he said. And then at one point, the girl looked up at me and Liz. She went, why would he talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> Took a hot one. Um, one of that, so you're tra- doing a little traveling. You're down in Tampa. Where does a, where does, where does a guy like Bobby like to stay? Your hotel man, I would assume. You're an Airbnb guy? Yeah. I'm not. No, 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 no. Nothing. I can't do an Airbnb. Mm-hmm. No. I'm with you. We were a big Airbnb team, but we're off now. Back to hotels. And how's your hotel etiquette? I like all I need in a hotel. I need a little tiny gym. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't need room service. I don't need that. Okay. I'm not a snob like that. A little gym. I need a little coffee. Free breakfast? You like a free breakfast? I'm all right with that, but I'm not going to fuck with it. Okay. Really? I know what it's about. Huh. I know. I, I used to, but now I'd, I'd rather just go somewhere and get breakfast. Okay. I don't feel like waiting in a line. Man, you with, feel like you. I do love a, a hotel breakfast, but you don't feel your best waiting behind a fucking like three <laughs> mouth breathers for the fucking uh, wa- for the waffle machine. Just a family of fat six. Uh huh. Yeah, it's bad, dude. For a single serving of yo play. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they're yeah. And and they're, are green, you guys bringing more bacon and a green banana? Yeah. yeah and they're touching every banana. Oh. <laughs> and then they and then you see them and their bag is full of yogurts and milks. <laughs> And it's like, all right, relax. Yeah. You fucking, it's fucking free. Gro- grocery shopping at the fucking days in. Yeah, I, I'm all right. But I'm not a snob like that. I like a flat, flat TV. This is how old I am. I got to the point where I told my agent, I go, listen, I'm not staying in hotels with square TVs. I, I don't want a box. Is that, on, a, is that on the website? How do they know that? Well, I used to, I used to stay at hotels and it had like a square. The mem- big guy, yeah. I, you, yeah. Guys, you guys, you remember that? I remember yeah. that, yeah. So, yeah, I, I was like, dude, oh, enough. I want a flat screen TV. <laughs> I want a flat. I want a thin TV. If it doesn't have a thin TV, I'm not fucking staying. Cause those those square TV rooms. It's rough. Real, those pre, are, real yeah. prima donna over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting up to change the channels no more. <laughs> it better have a remote. <laughs> I need a record player. No more yeah. of this eight track bullshit. Hey, Henny Youngman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fr- I'm first floor near the elevator too. Or what? what first floor? Dude, I don't want to. I don't, wait. Ground floor. I hate. Having to get into a fucking what are you, elevator. A truck driver? That's, that's nuts. Crazy. And that's the first guy that gets got, yeah. dude. dude. Get got, then. I'm actually the first guy to get away. I hear the shit going on. I'm out. Oh, the bad no. emergency doors never open. You're what are you nuts. talking You're about? You're on the fucking fifth floor yeah, down the end of the hallway. No. You got nowhere to go. The first floor. First floor, bang. Man, you're looking for trouble down there. Sleeps with the door open. <laughs> <Yeah>. I love it. <laughs> I welcome intruders. I leave, my, I leave my curtain open. I love it. I love when people pull up in their car and I'm just staring right at them. <laughs> And I wave. Oh, they got the flat TVs. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass in here. The first floor That's of insane, a hotel. That's insane, Bobby. First floor of the hotel. You go and check in and say, hey, I want a room on the first floor. Yeah. I like Whoa. the first floor. By the elevator, too. I don't. Don't you I, hear it dinging and stuff? And by the way, that's yeah, indicative no. of where you're staying, that they have rooms on the first floor. Yeah. Most hotels it. don't. Hyatt has first floor. And I'll take a handicap room. I don't like the. I don't like walking into the shower like that. It's too. I creepy. love it. Uh uh-uh. uh. I that, need. Uh, you've no. never been fat. Fat. It's true. Yeah. I've, I need. Uh, yeah. There was a time where I like. I had to wash myself off like a baby elephant. I had to get that hose. Sure. Try to put a leg oh, up. Oh yeah. Get underneath, dude. That stupid tub standing there with my little feetsies in, and the curtain hits the I side. I got that. Fucked. I like walking I in. I like a ballerina bar yeah. in there. Yeah. Sit down. They have a little uh, flapping bench. Little... I feel like I'm in a hospital, dude. I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, I love no, that. No. I love the wand. Do you uh, use that chair to get into the pool? <laughs> <laughs> Marco! <laughs> Will you dip in the pool if there's a pool? Uh, 100%. Okay. Bring uh, your trunks, hop in the hot tub. Always bring trunks. I'll hop into the hot tub. I'll go fucking blow an old guy in the sauna. <laughs> Whatever they got. I'll Get your soak, baby. I Good use time. those hotels up, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one of the best times I ever had was in Kansas City at a hotel where the pool was inside and then went outside. Whoa. And it went outside. It was a snowstorm. Uh, I was outside, heated pool, snow coming down. That's sick. And I was just sitting there with my little bald head coming out. It was great. I remember that for the rest of my life. Dude, on the road, you really we'll we'll, we'll hop in the pool and you'll really get some nice, just relaxing moments pre show. Right. Just in there floating with your other fat friend in a hot tub. It's oh, all it's, right. it's the best. I it's I, great. I, I hate comics that don't use the amenities. Uh huh. Like I used to go on the road with comics. Like I remember Dane would never use the amenities. 
You know, I'd wake up early. I'd go down and get the coffee. Fuck yeah, dude. I hang out I, in that little like lobby, like lobby go. restaurant. Yeah. I'm in there. I got, I, I got sit a on, coffee. Looking I sit around. on the chairs by the elevator. Use those. <laughs> get a little journal right, time going? in. Three? All right. Little, hey, today was a good day. Uh, Ding. Someone comes out, say hello. <laughs> Have a good day. I use it all, man. Making calls, doing it all, baby. If you sit I like in, that. If you sit in, if you if you go down to the hot tub at the hotel and yeah. there's somebody else in there, will you? Hey, how you doing? Will you chat them up a little bit? Well, you know what? Or will you give them their space and be like, I'm going to hop in the pool, and then when they get out, I'll get in the hot tub? I Well, it depends. I'll usually get in the hot tub, and, I, and I, I'll be like, how you doing? I'll say hi. You need the initial hi. Hey, I don't. Just to let you know, I'm not here. I'm not here to... I'm not here this to suck. This is a meat market. I'm not you know sucking. I mean? I'm not here to get my dick sucked. I'm not sucking your dick. You are, you are. How you doing? But it feels like that though. When it's you and another guy in the hot tub, like someone's well, got to make a move here. Not when you do. Like I, I lay on the Boston a little. Hey, what's up? How are you? How you know are what you? I mean? Kid. So he knows I'm not gonna suck your dick. Sure. You know what I mean? And then I'll catch I'll, a game last night. Eh? <laughs> I get my corner, and then I shut my eyes. And then you do what you do. I got to really phase you out. Okay. Because if you start talking to me in the hot tub, I don't want that. I don't want to have a conversation in a hot tub. <laughs> Dude, we were somewhere person. in Miami. Remember that whole family surrounded Dude, you? There was like crazy. kids jumping on his back. It was the, wild. I was in the pool. I'm like, Dude, I, he's like, come over here. I'm like, was, I'm not I, coming in. And I would never, like, would you let the kid get into a hot tub with a grown man that with you, you? Didn't know? Yeah. No. The parents weren't in there. The parents were over in the seats, and these two kids two little ran rug rats come in. over. Yeah. Here's what happens when you have like more than one barn. kid. He had his hands above the water, just like, I'm not doing anything. You're almost hoping that he would play with them. Sure, a little bit. Like, can, hey, yeah, because I have a kid, and it's like, there's a certain point where you're like, fuck, I just, I don't want to have to go in the pool. I don't want to have to. Yeah, I was uh, chilling. What the fuck's a kid doing in a goddamn hot tub anyway? <laughs> they got a long day. What do you want him to go, pee? S- go swimming. You want him to pee in the pool? Yeah, pee in the pool. Hot tub is just piss, by the way. Of course, it's just hot. Who's piss. not okay First with that? First thing I do when point. I get in there, who you pee right up? away? What? Yeah. Biologically, it makes you pee. We were on a cruise uh, recently, and my kid was in the pool. Last day of the cruise, probably maybe four, four, three, four hours left of the pool time mm-hmm. before they have to close it down, right? And my kid, uh, we hit a wave, and the water came down. Hut right in his mouth. <laughs> this kid puked. I mean, dude, he puked whole starboard side. Jesus. They came out with hazmat suits. They had to shut the fucking pool down because it was everywhere. <laughs> he shut the he shut the pool down on the cruise the last night. Oh my god. god Bobby and his kid are on a singles cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up the works for everybody. Dang, fucking knock it off. There's chicks out here. Fucking face paint and fucking Mickey ears on. That was a. Uh, that was right before Bert's cruise, because I think I remember seeing it was, that. It was, it was and that baby. was the social cruise. That You weren't working. I you just went on a cruise. You're a cruise the whole, guy. The whole fam went? I'm not a cruise guy. I tried the cruise guy. This Ka- was was this the first time Kalta you were Kalta is the cruise. He's yes. a cruise person. Gotcha. Okay? And he said, I invited him up for Thanksgiving. Because mm-hmm. we spend like every other Thanksgiving together. And he was like, well, we're going on a cruise. Why don't you go on the cruise? Wait, hold on. Side question. Where does he stay when he comes up? Does he get a hotel? Does he hotel. stay with you? Yeah, hotel. Would, hotel. He, would you let him stay with you? Yeah, 100%. But he's not going to fit. <laughs> he's staying in a hotel up by you or a hotel in the city? He stays in the city. Okay. Yeah, okay. He stays in the city. All right. we, Gentlemen. We, we've spent, uh, we went, we went uh, to uh, Pigeon Forge one year with him. <laughs> you <laughs> dropped that like we were going to know what that was. Pigeon Forge. <laughs> Tennessee. Dolly, you know where Dolly all the kids died in the war. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> where the, we're, where the mine collapsed, okay, okay. you know. They still have that restaurant where they do the fox meat up there. All right, I'll tell you. If you don't know Pigeon Forge. <laughs> Pigeon Forge. It's, it's the redneck Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm listening. It's the redneck Las Vegas. If you, I mean, you go down there, they have it's literally like they have the Titanic. They have all this shit. They have roller coasters, all this crazy shit. Pigeon in, Forge in popped up right away. Tennessee. Where is it? It's the home of Dollywood. It's where Dollywood, Dollywood is. We oh. went to Dollywood. Okay. But you can rent these cabins in the woods, the Smoky Mountains, with Dolly Pogba for fucking nothing. You rent these big houses, and he, him and his brother rented a house, and we, we drove down from here and spent like a week down in Pigeon Forge with them. And it was, they it's gotta crazy. change the name of that. Yeah. Nothing good if it starts with Pigeon, dude. My hometown. <laughs> That's rough. My hometown, uh, Bluebell, was originally named Pigeon Town. Pigeon Town? Yeah, they have a big sign when you, when you, when you pull in. A lot of pigeons? The mayor, I don't know. The mayor was a pigeon, actually. <laughs> the mayor was a pigeon? <laughs> yeah, two terms. <laughs> but he, Got indicted. So he said to me, he goes, listen, why don't you come down? I was like, okay, let me ask Dawn, because I know my wife's going to go, fucking no. She's, gonna, she's a nickel chaser. 
She's not going to spend the money. Nickel chaser. What are you from the twenties? <laughs> <laughs> Pigeon town. Nickel chaser. <laughs> yeah, she's tight with the cash. Hey, eh? what do you give me the hi hat? <laughs> you give me the hi hat. So I, I know she's going to say no immediately. I go, yeah. Let me ask Dawn. Think I'm going to Dawn. Want to go on a cruise for Thanksgiving? She's going to go. Uh, no, we're not going on a cruise because she loves. We love. She cooks. She cooks everything. So we usually have Thanksgiving at the house. Right. We invite any comic stragglers over. Wait, you were it was a the Thanksgiving was a was you would spend on a cruise? It's a Thanksgiving cruise. Whoa. So Bobby. real pigeon forward. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking there. nuts. Yikes. There's no way my wife's gonna say yes though. There's no I'm gonna go, yeah, she's gonna go no. I went, Don, you wanna go on a cruise for the Caltus for Thanksgiving? She goes, Yeah, that sounds fun. And I went, Huh? Did you have a thing? Did you eat Thanksgiving? This wasn't this they, year. This yeah, wasn't this it was cruise. The was worst it? Thanksgiving I've ever. Had. Yeah, this was this cruise, right? Because yeah, this it had it. to be. No, I thought you. you just, this Thanksgiving, you went on a cruise. Yeah, I'm not lying to you, <sighs> Bobby. That's <laughs> fucking insane, dude. It yeah. was the. It was did the, you? Did they at least make a Thanksgiving dinner that you can was, eat at the buffet, you know, or are you eat macaroni and cheese and shit? And like, have, and you pizza? have a, you have a Thanksgiving dinner, and it was the worst Thanksgiving dinner. Of ever course, had. it was terrible. It was terrible. My wife cooks. From the ground up, third generation stuffing. Like I have her make, I have her make, I have her. Third, that means her pigeon meat. <laughs> secret ingredients. Her fucking grandmother, great great grandmother, passed it on to the grandmother, passed it on to the. Now it's her. Okay. Okay. Tried and true. It is, dude. I have her make it in the middle of the year. <laughs> well, pregame this just, motherfucker. Just to have. Okay. You keep understand her, what I'm saying? Keep her skills up. <laughs> I must one of the one of a fight I got to a Dame one time. We did Thanksgiving at his house. My wife's cooking, from she's cooking everything at his place. At his place, and he's like, "I'm gonna get a stove top." I was like, "What?" I go, "My wife's cooking her third generation stuffing." She's like, "Yeah, but we like." I go, "It's not happening. You're not. You're not fucking. You're having my wife's stuffing." No shit. You can't. You can't. I'm not letting you have a box of stuffing. Man, it's the greatest the greatest meal ever. It's one of the. I mean, her cooking. I'm with that. I mean, it's the greatest. But and I went from that to a cruise. Thanksgiving dude, cruise. Eat Thanksgiving. The, the stuffing had the consistency of mashed potatoes. Dude, if you're eating gravy in a bathing suit, that is a tough look. Yeah. yeah. Dude, imagine, imagine you had a turkey leg and then getting on a water slide. The, That's the, fucking The nuts. food on Bert's cruise was fantastic. It was not a good. What that cru- The cruise we went on wasn't a great cruise. They had no water slide. They had a pool that my kid threw up in. That was it. Jesus. That was it. The food was not that good. It was kind of terrible. It was terrible. Man. And was, also, the food on Birch Cruise was good, but we were also drunk most of the time. I, I mean, thought we, it was fantastic. Soup to nuts, everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Chicken fingers are fantastic. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. That's, there, that's what, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It was, yeah. We that's were, it, dude, you're, talk, you're talking. It was uh, good. You're talking rando food. I also, mean, we were getting food. we were getting the VIP food. We were eat, we weren't you know right. We could go to the buffet. Me to me me and Big J at the buffet one time. Oof. Man, after losing like losing our asses at the blackjack table, he's like, "You want to go get hamburgers?" I'm like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> <laughs> we sat down for like three hours and just crushed the buffet. I did that on the Joker's cruise. I remember getting out of the elevator at the Joker's. It's the same cruise. ship. Yeah, same ship. Okay, so we got out and there was four huge women with two plates each. It was pizza with mac and cheese on top of the pizza. Okay. On both plates. Yeah. At two thirty in the morning. Yes. And Why then we not? went. We went into the buffet, and these two other fatties <laughs> drove their larks into the chairs to move them. Didn't move the chairs. <laughs> just used the fucking lark. You hear crrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I got a stick the, and move. Bobby's down in the boiler room. <laughs> <laughs> I take it. <laughs> Man. Okay, but talk about Tushy. Shout out to Tushy. Gang, you want to feel like a fancy European Ooh type? La la. Huh? Walking around with a cafe latte. <laughs> huh? I can have my cafe latte. With a nice crystal clean butthole. Wee hoo. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's time to chuck the toilet paper and get yourself a bidet from Tushy. Uh huh. Tushy's bidets are easy to set up on any toilet. Takes about 10 minutes to get it all set up. Easy peasy. Next thing you know, you're pooping away. Sliding. That bee hole's whistling, Woo! baby. Clean as a whistle. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things you don't know what it is until you give it a shot. Sure. And you go, it's a game changer. Yeah, Changes right. the way you looked at your whole entire life up to this you point. You're going to shower for weeks. <laughs> I put a little on my, use it on my armpits. Clean up. Not only will you use 75% less toilet paper, toilet paper on average, the Tushy Bidet stays clean and hygienic, and it's patented self-cleaning smart spray uh the nozzle self cleans before and before and after each use automatically in the big day uh stays just as clean as your cheeks and with a 30-day hassle-free return and a 12-month warranty it's risk-free baby so here's the turkey uh get that get that fresh out of the shower feeling at hellotushy.com for a limited time our listeners will get 10 percent off your entire order when you use the code garbage at checkout that's 10 percent off your first order at hellotushy h-e-l-l-o-t-u-s-h-y.com with promo code garbage it's time to back that ass up with confidence hello baby. Don't shake it. <laughs> shake what your mama gave you. Okay, let's talk about Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Gang, they say a what? recent study has come out saying that it takes 30 days to break your New Year's resolution. Only took me two. I'm ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kids are genius over here. <laughs> Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to Mint Mobile. It is a New Year's resolution that you don't have to break. If saving money is that resolution. $15 a month starting plans Out over the there. Door. You know why? What? Because there's no brick and mortar. It's all done online. They pass the savings right on to you. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Mr. Ryan Reynolds. Good look again. Yeah. Uh, for a limited time, wireless plans for Mint Mobile are just 15 bucks a month when you buy a three-month plan. We're talking unlimited talks. Text data for fifteen bucks a month. Two G. What's the network? Uh, five G. Two G. What is it? The nineties? I'm talking five G. This is anime quality shit we're talking about. Uh, my wife's been using uh, Mint Mobile for years, way before they were sponsored, way before this podcast ever existed. We were mm. a Mint Mobile family. It's fantastic. You get to keep your phone, your phone number, and all your contacts. The only thing that changes is your bill. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, high-speed data delivered on a nation's largest 5G network. Uh, you got nothing to lose but a ton of money, and you save that. There you, you know go. What I mean? To get this new customer offer uh, and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See, me mo- see Mint Mobile sure. for details. Did you, t- did you tip the cleanings? And a hotel, what do you leave for the hotel for the cleaning staff? 20 bucks. 20 bucks off after a I, weekend. 20 bucks when I check in, 20 bucks when I leave. 20 bucks when you check in. What do you mean? Because we usually check in before three because we get in. You know uh-huh. what I mean? And they always say, well, our room isn't ready. Room isn't ready. It happens to me so much. I, I have to not be stressed when I do this shit. I'm I, the same I, way. I can't. I can't. I've been doing it for so long. I can't deal with. I have clear. I have TSA. I have global one. I have the lounge. I have the all the credit. You like being called. I don't want to. I, I can't have anybody fuck with me because I'll I'll just quit. I'll just be out. I'm right there with you, Bobby. I'm living on the edge. Yeah, man. And when you get to the hotel, if I walk in like your room will be ready and it's 11:30, your room will be ready until three because technically that's, that's what you, you signed in, up yeah. for. Sure. If you walk in. Give the chick a double berry. To the, the double berry? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, go buy yourself some pigeon meat. Uh, what the fuck? Snippy LaRue over here. A double berry? You know uh, double berry No, but I'm How stealing you doing? it. I'm lucky Bobby Kelly. I made a check in. Here's a saw buck, toots. <laughs> he pulls it out of her ear. There you go. Give me something down in the basement. Well, Next the, to the laundry room. On the slot machine, is a 20. It was a double berry. Two berries. Oh, oh okay. That makes sense. It's a what, double uh, berry. You, the, the, yeah, that's real cruise talk right there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're not tipping the cleaning staff? You're you're greasing the 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 front of ha- the, 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 I, the I walk the, the front desk the, the, the front desk person. Front desk people make no money. They have to stand. They cannot sit. So you grease them. So when you walk and they they don't give a fuck. They're told. You know, not to give certain people room. So that I, room's ready. I'm walking. They, they got an open room. There's always a room. Sure. There's always a room. That's great. Always a fucking room. And 20. if I walk in, I go, listen, 
I go here. That I go. I'm checking in. Blah blah. And they're like, "Well, we don't." And as soon as I hear the "Well," I go, "Hey, this is for you. Thanks. Just thanks for trying to get me a room right now. I appreciate it. I don't say get me one. You can't force. You say do what you can. Whatever you can. I get it. But you know, I'm just a little tired. And then they go, "Okay." And you see them. You see the fucking mouse just go like this, because they were over here in the "You ain't getting a fucking room" mouse. <laughs> yeah. And then they start doing that. Step to the next they, computer. They right go like this, this and they go like that. Yeah, and then, like this one wasn't even on. Sorry. Yeah. And then you, all right, I can put you on the bang. Now, what happens? You grease that. them to 20. So, sorry, nothing. He calls a scene, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I strangle fuck? him. I get that money back. I hang him upside down out of fucking window. No, it never happens. Okay. Because there's really one happened. room. There is a room. So then sure. when you leave, if you stay one night, Chris, 20 on the dresser. 20 on the dresser. Whoa. Love that. Unless I buy something that I don't want. Unless I buy something that I don't want. Yeah, like a pair of shoes or something. I'll just leave those. <laughs> oh, you'll leave uh, them oh, a really? gift. I've left them gifts. Are you kidding me? I bought like a jacket, like a tag. shirt. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I always leave a 20, yeah. Here's you a half a bag of Doritos in there for you. Double XL Tommy Bahama. <laughs> Here's a half a taco salad. <laughs> taco salad. <laughs> and some Gatorade Zero. Hey, you can watch the rest of Oppenheimer if you want. <laughs> I'm with it. You got 23 hours left. You better make it quick. <laughs> yeah, I leave shit in the hotel all the time. All right. But really? no, I always a 20, man. You know, uh, Colin that. Quinn taught me that. Respect that. Colin was like, he always, every time I used to open for him all the time, and we'd go on the road, and he'd always leave a 20. So just boom. And we'd leave like that night because mm-hmm. he doesn't even like to stay. If you're, if, if you can drive home, bang, you just leave a 20 on the table. Yeah. yeah. Man. I yeah. really respect that. That's fantastic. Leaving a hotel in the middle of the night. But here's the deal. Can I just say something? If I'm there for one day or five days, it's a I'm double. leaving. It's a twenty. It's a, it's a double. 20. Larry. It's just a twenty. No, yeah, anything. Yes, no, I agree with because that averages out to four or five, like five bucks a night or whatever. More, yeah, than whatever that. it is. Yeah. But I'm Seven again, bucks a night. most people don't leave shit. That's crazy. They don't leave Lugats. There's nothing. I've been jammed up where I didn't have cash. And yeah, like, we're run. It's like we got to get in the car. We got to run. But uh, yeah, typically, there's been, there's been yeah. times. I'm gonna admit that too. I, I, yeah, once in a while I'll have to take off. And if she's a twat, sure. How Do would you, you know that? In what interaction would you have with her? Um, or them. I've had them. Are uh, you getting the room cleaned up every day? No. Never. No, but if they come in, if they knock on the door and that, I don't, no, you don't come in. You, you put your privacy in. on the thing? All, the whole time. Yeah. You don't come in. Love that. You can't see what's going on. I don't want you to smell it. <laughs> sure. I don't want you to come in and have to, de- I don't want to, I, I, I kind of, I get a, I ferment the room. I season it. <laughs> And I want that like to be mung beans. Re- yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a humidor. I season the humidor and I want that to be my room. The thing, I, but I don't smoke or anything. Like I know comics that light up. You guys light, you smoke. Light the, up. What are we, Aerosmith? <laughs> <laughs> Smoking in the hotel? Throw my square TV out the you window. You don't know people smoke in the hotel? Never. I don't, yeah. Dude, I know comics that just smoke light up. Smoke weed or cigarettes? Weed, cigarettes? Weed, I kind of, I, I mean, weed. How? Si- I don't, How? I'm, it's worse than a cigarette. Yeah. Nah, and weed I, now smells it, forever. But it doesn't, nah, I disagree a little bit. You're not wrong. It's gotten worse, for sure. It's, it's the, it's when I short. smoked weed back in the day. Yeah, it was it gone. Didn't, it didn't smell. Mm-hmm. But now, I mean, I can smell certain people will come to my house. My house will smell. No, you're not wrong. Like weed. It's it's terrible. They need to fix it. They made weed, weed more potent, which I'm fine with. I think that's great. But now fix the stupid Genetically smell. Genetically engineer the smell? Yeah, you can't. Why couldn't you? Do something. It's Even Makes walking sense. around New York City, it's something like- Something pleasant. Roast beef. Meatballs. You know what's crazy? When you can <laughs> smell it from- <laughs> I, I become a drug addict. R- rotisserie chicken Would weed. You maybe a food addict and a drug addict. Oh, they man. made weed smell like fucking meatballs. That's what they should be doing. <laughs> Yeah, it smells. It smells like a beef and beer all the I time. I know guys that have so much money, they just take the 250 hit. Sure. They yeah. just take the hit. That's a balls move. I can see that, yeah. All right, cool. I'll pay the money. They pay an extra 250 just, just to rip to heaters sm- in there. Just to rip in the room. I like going down, doing the doing the ritual. Go down, out in the lobby, go we're, outside. We're also in and out. Talk we don't to the ha- door guy. We don't hang out that often at the, we're usually one and done or maybe two nights at max. I get to, sm- when you go to a certain place like Vegas, we'll have a smoking floor. Man. I don't like and, I don't like smoking in the mm-hmm. room. Mohegan Mohegan Sun has smoking floor too. Yeah, I don't like that. That just smells like losing. As a guy, as a guy who, <laughs> just, man, I did it, dude. Imagine losing all your money and going back to a smoking room. We were in the Golden Nugget at uh, for Skank Fest, and you could tell walking down the hallway. It's like, oh man, people used to rip heaters in here. Yeah, it's just in the wall, in, yeah. in the grain of the in wood. the carpet, in the wallpaper. I did it in Rio when I did the cellar in Rio. I got a smoking floor, smoking room. 
And uh, one of the loneliest things I've ever done, I lit up a cigar, <laughs> like a two-hour cigar There's by three myself. People on that floor, and I was just sitting. And I could see my reflection in the in the in the glass. I was just, I'm like, this stinks. Like this is the loneliest thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, you really should be watching people bang. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. And sitting in front of a two-way mirror, <laughs> watching this show. <laughs> Uh, um, I got one before we get into the Patreon questions. We were we were talking about this this week. Who is the most famous person you met before you started doing comedy? Like as a kid, was there a local celebrity, a news anchor, an actor somehow, some musician? Um, Who was like somebody that like lingered around of like I met so and so one time? Like met them or or just anything was in the same area. So well, what was the area? You didn't have well, to have dinner with yeah. them. Yeah. But it's got to be more than, oh, my God. I mean, you didn't go on a cruise for Thanksgiving with them. Well, I, I mean, I did, um, there's two times. I did, um, one time I was I, after an Aerosmith concert. Okay. Uh, the Angel. Remember Angel? Remember that one, the video? you I'm, I'm, I'm in that video, by the way. Are you? I'm in the stands, in the video, yeah. Okay. Making that was out, a live. Making event. out with a chick. Making out with Bonnie. This chick, Bonnie Pirelli from fucking Medford. We were at the concert. I go, the camera's coming. And we just started. Uh, so we get in the. Uh, you, you can see me, I think, a little bit. I don't know if it's me. but Shut up, I don't know. I was, I was hey, to Bonnie say. Pirelli from Medford. But we went. <laughs> smoking hot. Um, <laughs> he sounds it. We, uh, we went uh, backstage. And we got the. We got to meet Aerosmith. How'd you okay, get backstage passes? Huge. I had my friend. He blew the sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> my friend was a musician from Berkeley, and he got this shit. So okay. we're backstage in this line to, to, to say hi. And I remember I just saw these Aerosmith posters on the wall, so I just went, fuck it, and I grabbed one. And all of a sudden, people just went and grabbed them all. And then uh, I knew Steve was in the program, uh, AA, and not to out him, but he's already outed himself. And... um. Steven Tyler is yeah, Steve. He's, he's, he knows him, yeah. so he calls him Steve. Yeah. He, he well, just, it's supposed he, to be anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's talked about it. So I, you know what I mean? He's out So it's me up. and Steve. Yeah. <laughs> so He's trying to get real father. <laughs> with him. How you holding up? You all right? My real dad's name is Steve. <laughs> Hi, Dad, wherever you are. Haven't seen you in a long time. Give us a call on Facebook, would you? Uh, <laughs> Give us a call on You have a grandson. <laughs> He's 10. Um, it's Steven Tyler. He has your bump chin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just leaned over and I I, uh, I went, uh, hey, oh, Steve, Bill W. says hi, which is the founder of sure, the program. Yeah. Friend of Bill W.'s. Friend of Bill W.'s. And he literally just went, hey, and he fucking lost it. He was like, all right, all right. I was like, what's up, man? He's like, all right, Bill W., yeah. And, he, and that was it. And then I... Doing a line of coke. <laughs> <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell him, you fucking narc. <laughs> you rat. You see Bill, you keep your mouth shut. Put those posters back. I uh, we I got up to the line. I thought it was, but he was just like, hey, what's up? Sign, sign, sign. Get the fuck out. Sure. Okay. So that was it. I thought I'd have a That's little more interaction, good. but that was my interaction. And then the other one um, was, uh, um, she's, I guess she's famous, Eliza Dushku. Who was the sure, daughter? Of course, daughter in uh, True Lies. Yeah, famous uh, actor. Oh yeah, yeah. She was in Banshee. Banshee. Uh, you didn't see Banshee, mm -mm. the TV show Banshee. No. Oh, come on, guys. What year did it come out? It's fucking recent. Okay. <laughs> Banshee. Sorry. It's the greatest show. It's so good. You haven't seen Banshee? God damn it. You guys are really successful. Oh, yes. Eliza Dushku. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. She's smoking. Yeah. Well, how'd you meet her? Well, she, uh, my acting teacher was putting together, it's a reading. You've this done, couldn't be before you were famous. What are you talking this about? This is before I was famous. This was just when I was like taking acting class and shit. This okay. Is, this is back in Boston. But you were a grown man. No, I was a kid. I was like 20-something. Okay. I was like 20-something, and she was a kid at that time. She was just in True Lies, and she was actually probably like teens, late teens, right? And uh, what was it? Uh, Wahlberg was supposed to do the reading. It's a reading. So they had a movie script. They're going to read it. They read it in front of a live audience. But they did it at Mamakin's, which is, uh, <laughs> you know, which is uh, Aerosmith's know. bar on Lansdowne Street right near Alligator Gorge. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was this famous that. bar. I like details, guys. And, uh, I know, but you're saying to me like we grew up together. <laughs> uh, Mamakin, so you yeah, heard Mamakin? Yeah, sure, yeah. Right okay. over on Lansdowne Ave. You don't know, you know, you know fucking Mamakin, the song? <laughs> I had a place with the cheesecake. You don't know Aerosmith songs? I don't Mama know Mamakin's. Mamakin? 
No. You ever heard that song? Hey, the hits, Bobby. We're not listening to B sides <laughs> on an eight track in the back of some van. <laughs> Love in an elevator, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's not a hit. That's not. That's Dream not, on. That's a hit. Killikins? What's it called? Mamakin? Like yeah. Mamakin? Mamakin. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so it was at this place. Anyways, so they had this reading at this place. And um took an acting class at a bar? No, no, no. <laughs> they had the reading in the bar. You know what I mean? I apologize. <laughs> Sounds like a real studious class. <laughs> hey guys, we're having a reading, it's half price shooters. <laughs> Unless you're a friend of Bill W. Belly! <laughs> So, doing a one-man show at Potbellies. Yo, Marky Mark's down at Ramekins. We gotta go. No, not Marky Mark. Who's the other one? The other wall. He's on Blue Bloods. Donnie. 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 So Donnie Wahlberg. You couldn't even get Mark. <laughs> Donnie, this class stinks, Bobby. Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> Holy shit, that's Donnie Nikki Wahlberg. <laughs> this is way Nicky. This is way to Bill W. No, but this is this is uh, six cents. Air time, I, like right, either right before it or right after it. Well, you remember that movie? A lot of critical yeah. acclaim. For Will Smith's cousin came down. <laughs> so, now I remember when Donnie Wahlberg did that. It was he, a huge he, deal because he, he was so look, good and nobody knew it was him. Right. So yeah. he's so they're doing this big reading for this movie. My teacher's directing it. It's a big deal in Boston, you know. And but hold on, just to go back, what's the movie? I don't fucking know. They're just doing a reading of a movie. Yeah, a lot of times when uh, they write a script, they'll have a reading. Oh, it's, it's about to be made. Uh, so it's yeah. like they were reading Top yeah. Gun or something like that. You never like did that. a reading? No. Yes, I've done a reading. I, I, I just didn't them. understand. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you know, you're a fucking thespian like yeah. me. So, Sat next to Lucy Liu. Yeah, so I, I wow. did not Lucy Liu, Megan Liu, her sister. <laughs> <laughs> it was before the burger fame. It was a Ben's Pizza. <laughs> I did one with... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fuck is her name? Uh, from uh, from uh, uh, my cousin Vinny. Marissa Tomei. I did one with Marissa Tomei. God damn, man. She's, she's a hot. She's something else. Yeah. Beautiful and um, talented. So I guess this is bef- this is right when I'm coming up in Boston. I'm you know, I'm not I'm still going to fucking coming up in Boston. You're coming taking up, an I got nothing. Class. I take this thing. He my, Donnie bails out last minute, like the day of, and it's with Eliza and a bunch of other actors, young. They have this one little young black kid. He's he's really supposed to be talented. He's on the rise. My teacher goes, "You got to fill it. You got to help me out. You got to do this." So I'm like, "Fuck! You got to read the script." So I got to read it on the fly. I, I got dyslexia. I'm fucking stupid. I I can't. I got to read in front of two hundred like, people. Slight confidence problem. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it's bad. You know what I mean? When I learn lines, I got to fucking spaghetti read for but hours. But he pulls you out of the class. You're going to be up there he on calls stage reading. Me, he goes, "Listen, I need you to do this tonight." Okay. So I got to go in. I'm sitting there. They mic us up. We're mic'd. Live audience. They're reading the script. The the writer's there. My teacher's there. It's a big shot for a young, young Fam- comic. Uh, there's famous local celebrities in the crowd. I think there was a couple Red Sox there. Yeah. It the was- Philly fanatic. <laughs> Fisk. Fisk was there. Jim Rice was in was the he? crowd. No. <laughs> <laughs> Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk. <laughs> At a table he was, read. He was doing this. Uh, uh, so there I am in front of Big Poppy. So I, I, <laughs> you know Big Poppy. So I don't know any of this shit. So I'm I'm doing it, and you know I, I gotta, I'm this tough guy, drug addict, or uh, pimp, or whatever the fuck I was. And this little kid, I gotta read a lot of my lines are with this kid, and uh, <laughs> so I I don't know the fucking script. I'm kind of winging it where I can. And there's one time I'm like, it must be. Um. Uh, it must be tough for you, but the line is "must be tough for you in school." Okay. So I said, "Must be tough for you, kid." And he go, and he was just staring at me, dead air, hundreds of people. I go, "Must be tough for you, kid." <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I look over. Liza Dushka's looking like this. <laughs> My teacher's like, "I'm like, things are tough around here for you, huh?" You heard me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. This kid, this kid. I said things are tough on you. You got a listening problem, kid? <laughs> this kid, he's new. He learned the script. Word for Verbatim. word. So he's waiting he for went you like, to say school. He went like this. He grabbed his mic. He went, in school. And it just echoes over the whole fucking thing. You stink. <laughs> right? <laughs> the fucking whole place erupts in just belly laughter. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm just, my face, I felt my head get red. 
and my ears got hot. When I get nervous, my ears get hot. You are. I know that. And it just st- and I started sweating. And I went in school. And I just yelled at this kid. <laughs> That was my only experience. Was there any with uh, with Eliza? It was there any interaction or just like nice working with you? No, you know, she was cool. My card. She's always been nice. I see her now. She goes to Boston Comics Come Home that I do every year. Oh, ah, right. And she always goes with her husband. And she's, I mean, she's still ridiculous. One yeah. of the hottest yeah. human beings in the world. But you know, we're kind of friendly now. We we know each other a little bit now. She's, I mean, she's just my Look at speed. That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now your right. peers. So you met a child actor. I I fuck up all my famous people I know. I Uh, fuck it up. I fuck them all up. Yeah, Chris Chris Evans blocked me. Right. Blocked you? I remember that. Yeah, blocked me. Well, what'd you do? Well, I fucked it up. I met him. We became friends. And then I I texted him that night. (laughs) I was like, good meeting. You remember when you were in Captain America? I fucked it up. And then I, I repaired it. Schultz helped me repair it. And I repaired it, and I, and I fucked it up again. And then recently on the bonfire, Jay made me fuck it up again. I texted him something. I forget what I texted. And then, and then uh, it just blocked. I called, and it was like, you, this number can't be whatever. And I was like, fuck it. Damn. Yeah. What a bozo. Dude. Yeah. That's awesome. That's- I'm terrible. I'm not, I'm not good with famous people. I'm just not good. You never text. You never, they give me the number. You never use it. I didn't know it was like girls. We're men. I know, but if you met a guy, you gave me your number years ago. I didn't think I used it for four years. Yeah, I remember. I, I remember you got mad at him because he was still sending you Twitter DMs, and you're like, "Fucking call me!" Yeah. You're like, oh, "You I have hate, my number. Call I hate, me." I hate a text. I'm not a fan of texting. <clears throat> I don't like it. Just call me. Mm-hmm. Just call. Sure. Just call and say what's up. What's Phone up? calls and flat TVs. Do you remember what? <laughs> do you remember? I remember that. Do you remember what that conversation was about? What? We were pitching him AYG. Actually, now that I think about it, when? When we before we started. Pitching me? Yeah. Oh, it's the skanks pitch me too. No shit. Yeah. They wanted they were like, we wanna I was like, dude, just go do your own thing. You don't want to be part of this. <laughs> oh, it's true. okay. Yeah. We were pitching yeah, to get on dude. the network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I completely forgot about it until that. Well, that. it's like at that time it's like, listen, man, you're gonna leave anyways. No, every, I totally get you every, weren't wrong. No, every show that I started left. Of course, of course. Every show that I started. Was just as soon as things hopped up, it's like, what are we doing here? It is one of those things of you do it on your own. It's a thing yeah. that you should be doing on your own. You did your, you've, you've always done your own thing. Well, you do your own thing. Yeah. Networks were good when like uh, All Things Comedy did it because they kind of all stuck together mm-hmm. and huddled and then lifted each other up. But it, it eventually, f- you know, broke up. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that, that happens with any network. You got Chris Evans coming <laughs> in. <this laughs> fucking nine camera shoot. Don't ruin it again. <laughs> it's a nine camera shoot here. Hey, what's up, man? You remember me, Bobby? And we got the flat TVs, too. You got a bunch of flat TVs. You we can a, stay here. You got, a, you got a regular nerd and a sexy nerd. <laughs> we do. You got, you got the fucking spectrum of nerds. We got, we got T-Bone and new guy Luke, yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, let's get into some fucking Patreon questions. Do some questions, cues with guys. Bobby. It's always a good hang can with I that get, Bobby Can Kelly. I get, um, what do you need, What buds? do you need? Where's my bag? Can I get my bag real quick? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Your I fanny s- pack? It's not a fanny pack. It's a crossbody Louis Vuitton. Is Anyways. it real Louis Vuitton? Ooh. I wanted to ask. He came in, I complimented it, what's, but is wait, it real? Wait, come on. I don't know. Now, what's that set you back? Well, what's that called? That seems like a lot to me. Four grand? I got, no. a, I got a Dickies jacket 1200. on. 1200 Yeah. It's over 1000 Is Louis, uh, look at yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, so some gum and some. Keys. I know what's in there. I got gum. It's stupid. Is it regular gum or I nicotine used, gum? I can't really hear. Also, the the Don't I just noticed the the tattoo of your wife's name as your as your wedding band. Yeah. Yikes! I had to do that. You don't like rings? Uh no, because I gain weight and lose it so much over the. I've gone through so many. I think I've gone through six. Jeez. Holy shit, dude! He I wears them as a necklace now. <laughs> yeah, dude. There was points where it was like I had to get it cut off. You no did? Shit. Yeah, I was so fat. It just was my finger was purple, so I had to get it and then get another one, and then I would lose weight, and then I'd get lost in a pool. What do they do that? Do they cut that off at the jewelry shop? No, the uh, fire I'll, fire department. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I have to draws a life on that bad boy. I have an alarm at my house. Wap wap wap. Um, yeah, they just they just uh, Zipper, I just yeah. cut it off. Huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, I fucking hate the word, but now she's there forever. <laughs> there you go. This actually made her cry. I didn't, I didn't. My my wife's a tough broad. I'm pretty sure my wife could take me, if we were really fighting. Sure. I'm pretty sure she could take me. She'd do some. She's a pretty tough chick. So you didn't tell her you not got a tattoo. Got a tattoo of her name on my. That's finger. The trashiest romantic say, thing yeah. I've ever heard in my life. What that set you back? 
Free Skankfest. You got that done at Skankfest? Yeah, baby. Did you tell her that? Yeah. She knows it was free? Yeah. Huh. I told her she's a nickel chaser. Saving money. Yeah, <laughs> saving money. They're good, Bobby. Save money. I like it. You don't have tattoos, right? Nah. Nothing. Nothing. I would get one now, but it just screams, you know, midlife crisis a little bit. Really? I know in my heart of hearts how I would look at myself at 18 if I was 37, balding, and got a tattoo. Why would you get something? What would you get? I would want to go full sleeve. I'd want to go all in. <laughs> Don't do that. But that's why that. Uh, yeah, that's what, what I always. Flabby arms. I know. Yeah, that's what I. I'd chubby have to, Rogan. I'd have to get. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan. I'd have to get chiseled. Just pizza and garlic knots all down his arm. <laughs> it's his favorite foods. <laughs> a flatbread freak, baby. Um. All right, let's get into it here. Yeah. Let's get a, let's knock a couple of questions out here. Um, all right, this one's from the Kev Dev. $10 homie, never had one read. Is it garbage if your buddy comes over to your house to pregame, then cuts their fingernails before leaving for the night? Ugh. You can't be doing that at someone else's house. I mean, you can't do that now. Are you clipping or are you biting? I, 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 I despise biters. You don't like biting. I would, why would you bite? Your, fi- your fingers touch You get your manis? Asshole. You strike me as a Manny guy. I'm not a Manny guy, but I've gotten Manny's, but I used to get Manny's, but then they, those stupid bass that, you know, you put your feet in at those places. Oh, they get bad. I, I got two dead toenails because of that. My big toes, you both see of the them machine. are fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> My toe looks like Frito's chips because of that. A yeah. couple of bugles on there. I mean, dude, because they have the, they don't wash them all the time. I know, yeah. There was, I remember like a big six. There was minutes. no injury or anything like that. It's definitely from. I got a fungi. From those things and that fungus, the only way you can get rid of it is if you take a pill that could fuck your liver and Lamisil you could die. or whatever. It's Some crap. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, that stuff's heavy. I'm not gonna die because of a toenail. That would suck. You guys are making fun of me forever. What is it? Is it black? Is it? It's not black, but it actually fell off last year, <sighs> and uh, now it, it grew back a little better. And since I lost weight, I think There's less I, pressure on it. When I was three fifty, yeah, I don't think I was getting a lot of blood down there. No. So the, the healing process. You ever see fat people's shins when yeah. they get like a little cut? Like, it, yeah. it lasts for like nine years. That's they, my biggest fear. I, I I scrub my shins and I moisturize the hell out of them. I don't want to get fat guy legs. You like don't that. have fat. You've never had fat guy legs, which I I'll tip my hat to you. Yeah, I have a lot a, of guys smaller than you really got that fat guy skin. I have a little varicose veins and I have a little bit of a. Uh, like from getting hit when I was younger, like the the bruise doesn't go away. I think because of the circulation. Yeah, yeah. So I'm on top of that. I got my aquifer all over that. I think I think that I the toenail, but now it's it's a little better now, mm-hmm. a little better now. Yeah, but cutting, so you're sitting down once a week clipping, or like once every when you notice they need yeah, it. I keep clippers everywhere. You got them in a the bag? I might. I huh. might. I might. That's I crazy. but I ha- when I usually have a bag, I'll have a clippers, but I have them on my keychain usually too. I have clippers everywhere because I, I don't. Bite. I forget it, and my wife is really. She's one of those where you know your fingernails. She sees dirty fingernails on dudes or long fingernails. She's fucking, sure. You got to keep. Got to run a tight ship. She hates it. Dirty fingernails are bad. I have them a lot. Yeah, I I used to have them a lot. I try not to have. You ever do like a post on Instagram and you're holding something and you look in your fingernails? Oh, gross. yeah, it's fucking. It's I hate it too. But Will I, you clip anywhere. I'll clip anywhere but somebody's house. That's, that's egregious. I mean, you can't do a house. You can't do a plane. You can't, I, people do it on the subway. I had a buddy who would be like, "I I cut my fingernails on the subway." That's disgusting. That's yeah, fucking that's insane. That's disgusting. People it's, eating down there. A lot can, of people do. A lot of people do it. You can you could do it on a bench. Sit outside, outside on a bench. Yeah, outside a bench. Cut your fingernails real quick. I usually try to do it like uh, in the house, in the sink, napkin. Grab all the fingernails in the toilet. Okay. You understand? I'll typically bite. Gentlemen. Put it behind a couch. Bite. Yeah, yeah bite, bite, put it behind the couch. Or I've said this, I'll put it in it if I have like a empty coffee cup or something. I'll put it in there and then throw it out. Did you say you bite and then put it behind your couch? Yeah. Uh-huh. The best is- you I'm got... a man, Bobby. Let me give you the and perfect situation. And then I get situation. yelled at by my wife in three weeks. Because you're a savage. I, I, perfect I know. Perfect situation. You got something in your tooth, and you have a little bit of a long nail. That's gross. Bite That's it three gross. quarters of the way down, pop it out, clean that out, pop that out, right it's behind the It's disgusting. I know it's, it's disgusting. It's on the verge of being a genius. What? It's the, literally the, the, no. It's too nah, Swiss Army fingers. No, that's science. <laughs> that's One's a magnifying glass. <laughs> that's literally Inspector Fat <laughs> That's that's caveman science. No, go go gadget hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> Salami sandwich pops out. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fucking insane to me. I think that's great. I think the fact that you figured that out. 
That's fair. That's like when I figured out you could use your socks to wipe up piss. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you mean? Like, what's on? Just when a you little... pee on the toilet late oh, at night instead yeah. of having to get the toilet and the the toilet paper thing, and it's not enough. And they, I just sock it. Hundred percent. Yeah. Just use your sock. If I do, if I miss, that'll be that's tomorrow morning's problem for me. I'll go in and take care of it. I'm morning. very. Big. I'm not cleaning at three o'clock in the morning, half sleeping. Just take your foot up, wipe it with your sock. I don't done. sleep with socks. I'm not a fucking psychopath. What if something happens in the middle of the night? You're gonna have fucking sock, no sock shoes. You're gonna, you're gonna. Someone um, breaks in. Something happens. A fucking around. twister goes yeah, around. You're gonna be, foot, you get some traction. What if a fucking twister comes through your house? Ah, you'd you're gonna, what are the be, socks gonna do? You're gonna be able to fucking have something the on your feet. Will be warm. Yeah, so you don't get cuts and stuff on your feet. This Listen, is, this is the thought process of a formerly fat paranoid guy. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. The, the, the sock will slow you down too much. You ever see something? Oh yeah, that's four or five minutes. You could you tornado know. wiped out the whole neighborhood. Only yeah. one guy survived. Yeah, how's he, that? He was wearing his socks. Yeah, he's outside in his socks and his feet aren't all I cut like, up. He's talking to the news. I'd like to thank Haynes. Uh, his fingernails are amazing. I always get socks on my feet every night in case something happens. I'm in. You're nuts. I don't know what that is. Something happens. Dude, somebody... I mean, if something happens, my feet can go in can my Can somebody shoes. sneaks in the middle of the night and put shoes on you? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Your buddy was staring right at me like, I can't turn I around. Know, listen, he's good. He ain't that good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hot he's, one. He's one of the best, but he misses from time to time. It was <laughs> a moment. <laughs> it almost turned. I thought he started laughing at it, and I was like, man, <laughs> Bobby's really giving on that, that, that one. <laughs> okay. Ah, that felt good. <laughs> um, I can't believe you don't wear socks. Men wear socks to bed. No, no, I think if we did a poll, no one wears socks. Socks get hot. Men. Do you ever take them off in the middle of the night? Do, do little your little piggies take them off? No. I like that. No. I like getting in the bed with socks and then taking them off. I mean, no, I give them, I leave them on in case something goes down. Then I gotta I gotta take I care of business. I don't understand. What does that mean? What is the difference of having socks and no socks that you that's gonna okay. impede you? Okay, I'm gonna give you a scenario and you tell me. Ready? Please. You're lying in bed. I'm laying in bed. You're in, what are you in your underwear? You no shirt, right? I'm in my undies. Undies. You're in your undies. Yeah, that's it. No, no socks. No socks. Tree falls, crashes through the fucking house. Okay. Smashes in. Now I'll the weather. Picture this. No the, socks. The weather. Your house is <laughs> fucked up. Your girlfriend's dead. No socks. The weather's come. It was hail, wind, wetness. Uh huh. And you gotta go save your wife. Get it. The dog out. The kid. You gotta go. Get everybody out of this place. Right. What are you, what are you gonna do first? You're just gonna do it with no sock. You're gonna put nothing on your feet. What's the, the socks aren't helping me unless I'm wearing waterproof socks. Hundred percent helping you. Hundred percent. No. No. Then it's I got like, wet. So- I'm standing outside waiting for the fire department with wet socks on. Like an yeah, it's gonna catch a cold. With. With. <laughs> with Next you, thing you know, you're sick. I'm in my underwear. Nah, dude. I know. You got some form of protection over your feet. So you'd rather have nothing what on your feet? What kind of socks are you wearing, dude? <laughs> so you'd, Seal skin <laughs> socks? You'd have nothing on your feet. You'd have rather have nothing on your feet at all. Yes. And be out in the snow. And the cold and the wet. How long do you think socks are going to keep you warm? I live on the warm? sixth floor. If I end up in the <laughs> snow, we got bigger problems, Bobby. Well, I mean, that's, yeah. You I, know what they say. I like the picture. It crashes through the house. Yeah. yeah. You know what they say. Teach is on. Sure, sure. Teach is on. Teach is on. Uh, I, ho- I hope something happens. <laughs> and you are like, fuck, I wish I had socks. I it's going to happen. I'm going to be cursing it. Yeah. yeah. Bobby! <laughs> Plane's going down. Bobby's putting his socks on. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to you guys, but I'm going to be all right. <laughs> Jumps out so he can run. Uh, I, I, slides right down the aisle. I hope you get kidnapped. <laughs> and then you, a- but then you get out and you have no socks and you're in the desert and your feet are like, ow, ooh, ow. But you're like, fuck. I wish I had my socks. Then a the pair socks of, are not going to help that. Uh, a dude, little bit. If you got to walk through, listen, yes, if, there, if a set of circumstances arises where I have to end up in the desert yeah. uh, and I have to walk to safety, I yeah. might need a pair of socks. Yes. So the situation is if a tree crashes through the house, you get kidnapped, you get brought to the desert, I'll, you want to have a pair of socks on. I'll give you that. A lot of fucked up. So when you go to bed at night, you just go to bed. I also think you might need to change neighborhoods if you think that's going to happen to you. <laughs> yeah, I go. You got you to move into a more secure. I go building. to bed in my undies, and I always tell my if something happens, this is the way. This is this is how I'm 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 squaring off, or I'm going out, this or I'm doing way. whatever. Yeah, the Mandalorian. Yeah. This is the way. You're, st- you're out in you're my good fellas BBDs, <laughs> <laughs> my tidies. Uh, All right, let's see. This one's from Sam Adams. If you enter a business, this is more of a uh, discussion. If you enter a business where you have to stand in line, say like the dry cleaner or whatever, Mm -hmm. 
And uh, the where you person, should get this coat cleaned, by the way. Where I should get this coat cleaned. A uh, person before you holds the door for you mm-hmm. and lets you in. Yeah. Do you then give them your spot in line? Or do you stand in line in front of them? Ooh, this is a good You know what I mean? One. Like, they hold the door. So you enter. You're both walking, converging on the dry cleaner at the same time. They open the door for you, let you in. Yeah. Now you're in line in front of them that they allowed. or that You, you, go- you could, but you don't have to. What really? I'm, what I'm doing when I hold that door for you mm-hmm. is I'm giving you that spot. Mm-hmm. I am saying I, I respect that. This is I'm gonna let you take. I'm the in spot. no rush, buddy. I'm in no rush, guy. Do your thing. Have at it. Have at it. You gave me that spot. Okay. So you don't have to. You could, but here's what you run the risk of. Here's what you run the risk of. Hey, oh, you go. No, 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 you go. No, you sure no, you no, go. Yeah. Now you're in that. Now it's a little fun. weird. Now you're like, I did a good thing. I put my. Di- I was nice. Mm-hmm. All you had to do is take it. Say thank you, and I feel good, and you feel good that there's somebody good out there. And if now we're fighting. And you we're having a micro on. fight over niceness, mm-hmm. which is one of the I hate micro nice fights. You're not wrong on the, that. The, it's terrible. That's very. That's a very good assumption. You're giving them that spot when you open the door. Don't fuck with somebody's karma. I would say the gentleman move is they let they open the door and let you in. Thank you. I know you please. You you go ahead. Offer once, just once. You want to go? No, because then if they take it, you're like, oh, what a fucking prick. I see, yeah. I see, what a fucking the offer, he, cocksucker. He, fucking scumbag. I yeah. think we think the gen- the generosity is coming in the store. The generosity is not coming in the store for you. The generosity is the I'm giving thing. I'm giving you the spot before we even get in there. Just take it. What How- if you didn't know there was a line in there, though, and you're like, oh, fuck. Hey, no, that's the risk you take. How many times are you going out, you park, and you see somebody else park, and then you both, and all of a sudden they speed, and now you're speeding, mm-hmm. and then this speed. You know what I mean? And you get that thing. That's such a suck thing that you have to deal with in society. But there's nothing better when somebody just, hey, go ahead. And you're like, thanks, man. And you go in and you get in the line and they're behind you and there's no pressure. There's no anxiety. There's no. That's the way we all should live. That's very profound. Honestly, that's, yeah, that's great. I didn't didn't think of it that way. Because there's been so many times I've gotten into that back and forth of kindness or whatever. And then it's like you want to kind of just win. And then if you're standing in front, you're in your head of like, this fucking guy's probably sitting behind me going, this fucking fat ass took my spot, blah, blah, blah. Can't do All it. All unneeded. Because I've been on the other side where I'll, I'll usually, when I see somebody coming, I let them go. Because I get that, oh, I gotta go. I gotta. Uh, same thing. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Here you go. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. No problem. And then I get right in. Bang. What if you hold the door and you don't get a thank you? Not the, the, the line thing, but just in general. Oh, then I'll cut their child. <laughs> <laughs> you better be wearing socks, buddy. <laughs> it's about to turn dark for you. I'll piss down his skull. <laughs> Man, nothing gets me hotter than fucking not getting the thank you. Dude, ah, I, you, know what, you know what fucking really makes me mad? When I don't get your welcome. You're welcome. When they just do it. And I go, thank you very much. And they just stare at me. Really? Say you're welcome. Oh, that's real crazy. All right, watch this. Watch this. Ready? Yeah. You're coming in. I hold the door. Oh, right. thanks, man. I'm not that standing sucks. there looking no, at you. I'm moving sucks. through. Nah. Of course. For sure. It, there's, a, there's a part of this piece missing, you fuck. Huh. He's not there's wrong. A, there's a thank you, and there's your welcome. It is almost a little condescending. Yeah. Like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah it's right. like, what, did you do it because you're a fuck face? Did you, we're, we're exchanging gifts right now, mm-hmm. and it's called pleasantries. So I'm going to do this, so you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm going to go, you're welcome. You're not wrong. And then society can move on. Okay. Then we get to live. <laughs> <laughs> then we all go home and see our family. Because if you don't say you're welcome, I will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Actually, you know, we're all having cruised turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, look, at, I, hate the, I hate the no thank you. It sucks. Fuck you, but... They know you're welcome. It's kind of like Man, like you're better than level. me. You're sure. better than me. Uh-huh. You did this for peasants. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're, okay, peasant. That's Go also ahead. in our heads, but sure. Yeah. I like <laughs> I like that level of crazy. Body. Yeah. No, you're right, right. right. You know what I hate? I live my my building is two door, like you know, just like the little vestibule type thing. So if so, we're both convert, you know, we get off the elevators, we're walking. The first guy or person to the door holds the door. If typically, if it's two dudes, holds the first door. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, thank you. Now I got to get the second door yeah. for him. And I do, and we do it. But it does seem so kind of for, oh, thank you. No, after you. Thank you. And it just seems very fake. 
Well, it's not fake. It's, it's, it's a little it's, fake. It's, the it's double how, door makes the whole rhythm of the thank you. You're it welcome. It shows thank you how you're did your parents do a good job. I, and I do it. I have to do it. I, I, I have always prided myself on my manners. I tell my but son it seems all the time. A little, I tell my son all the time. When somebody uh, will hold the door, and then if the other person doesn't hold, they just go in. I'll be like that. That person doesn't sucks. have good parents. Yeah, we've all. I've That's said a, a broken s- home. And you slam it in their face. <laughs> <laughs> you follow them how, home. How about when you fucking hold the door, and then thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then they just keep coming. Yeah. You're, you're, there's usually oh, a guy who yeah. goes, yeah, you're a I doorman you. all of a sudden. You'll be here all and day. And those thank yous dry up after like the second or third person. They think you're working there. I know. Yeah, that's the worst. And I, I usually look like I work a lot of those places. <laughs> yeah, He's got the big hat on. I have that too. face. Me yeah. too. The double door thing is bad. You open the one door and they come in and they go in the other one. Oof. I'm standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I fucking work for you. Talk about feel, nuts the talk about feeling are. like a real loser. We immediately get mad at that slight transgression. It's like that thing I, I I've, I've told you this. When you offer somebody to like, if people are trying to take a selfie, hey, you want me to take that for you? And they're like, no. Oh, you feel like yeah. a real loser. Like, well, that, that yeah, pig. I don't want to take your picture anyway. <laughs> and they go, oh, they go like this. I no, I've, you, <laughs> yeah. I got it. Yeah. I know we have it. It's like, all right, go. You think it. I'm gonna I'll, steal your phone? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever done that? Stolen somebody's phone? No, no, no. Just take it and go, okay, and then run, and then go, I'm kidding. <laughs> I've done that. That's fun. <laughs> Just run. Because their face is a sh- this shock. Yeah, I would trip or something like that. <laughs> well, I- <laughs> Scorpion yourself. I wasn't really stealing I swear to God. <laughs> I'm a comedian. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it cool if I call an ambulance on this? <laughs> <laughs> you fall and break your jaw. You can't even explain yourself. <laughs> hey, you, you're in. <laughs> Trying to show, hey, yeah, him, yeah, trying yeah. to show him the podcast. I swear. <laughs> uh, I've always said you can learn a lot uh, in a Wawa parking lot of who the the, the common courtesy in a Wawa, specifically Philadelphia surrounding area Wawa parking lot. Fights will happen if you don't. That common courtesy is so extended because they know you'll get the yeah. You're fucking welcome. Yeah, like if you people don't they're say, looking for yeah, it. They're high yeah. strung. It's like and you that yeah. it could be. The the worst kind of person, the best kind of everybody says please and thank you and you're welcome it's holding the, thing, the door to Wawa. It's like you ever you, we're driving down the street on the highway and it always fascinates me. There's so many cars, so many different, and none of us are, mo, for the most part we're not just smashing into I each other. I think about it all the time. I could just yeah. go. I could ruin everyone's day right now. <laughs> <Jesus>. Right, <laughs> but what you the don't. Fuck, I didn't know that you psycho. <laughs> but I don't. But you don't. Why? Because of I got the, a gig to do. I got the podcast. Because there's rules. There's rules. Unwritten a, fucking rules. Sure. Dude. Are you a uh, are you a lawyer? No, vehicular hand, manslaughter is well documented. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's <laughs> not. You can kill people. <laughs> you can just say it's an accident. You can be like I. They fucking, don't see your face in the car going fucking. Yeah. <laughs> They're not up here. Oh, They're man. only out there. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do it. That's a, that's a great line. <laughs> <laughs> They're not up here. They're not up here. They don't know what's there. going they're, on, baby. Oh, Jesus. I just got they're in the back of an ambulance right now. <laughs> You're not driving the rental cars anymore. I'll tell you that. That's why you, you have disposable jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Shave my head real quick, tie my beard. I saw the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we got time for one or two more. Then we got to wrap her up here. Uh, this one, speaking of jacuzzis, this one's from uh, Brum Kenyon. $10 homie never had one red. Is it garbage if my girlfriend goes to 24 hour fitness? Just to use the jacuzzi. <laughs> She's cheating. <laughs> yeah, what the you f- idiot. You f- idiot. Holy <laughs> shit. What the f- wrong are you, dude? It's, what the f- It's man 101. Where are you going? Use the jacuzzi at what? Get the f- uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You're walking funny. Uh, Holy uh, shit. If, you, if your husband does it, he's gay. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what What gym has a jacuzzi? 24 None hour, of them. Tw- None yeah. of them. I don't think 24-hour fitness has had jacuzzi. They don't. She's blowing a guy in a parking lot <laughs> of a Boston market. <laughs> Fucking idiot! What's wrong with you? Uh, that's, that's nuts, I dude. Mean, that's great. Put the kibosh on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you got to put an apple tag on that chick, dude. No yeah. Air tagger. Yeah, yeah. You just see it moving <laughs> back and forth real quick. You got to air tag that chick, man. Uh, she's 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 blowing somebody. Oh man! All right, we got to wrap it up on that. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> I didn't think of that at all. Uh, Gang, Mr. Robert Kelly, legendary comedian, best in the biz. Check out the 
Pods. You got Bone to Pick with Mr. Paul Verzi. You mm-hmm. got the Regs with yeah. Louis J. Gomez. You got Joe Lish. You got Dan Soder. You got, of course, the Bonfire with Mr. Okerson. It's too much. It's too much. And you got, of course, the legendary You Know What Dude. Yeah. Check it out. Bobby mm-hmm. Kelly, anything else you want the folks to folks know? Dates, website, whatever. Yeah. What's well, cooking? Uh, just go to my website, robertkellylive.com, or go to punchup.live. Go to punchup to fuck everything else. Go to punchup.live. My special's up there for free, Killbox. Uh, and all my dates are up there. You can buy tickets up on punchup.live. It's a brand new uh, site for comedians, and uh, I'm totally digging it. So go there. Check me out for all my dates. Come see me live and, uh, you know, all my other shit that I'm doing. You guys got to come on uh, Bone to Pick, Let's man. Let's do it, baby. Love it. Love it. One of the absolute best, Mr. Robert Kelly. Thanks, Kibbe, guys. What do you got for him? Uh, guys, we are getting ready to announce our 2024 tour, so let us know where we should go. There's a link in the description of this episode. Let us know what cities to go to. The only tickets are on sale right now are Town Hall on May 9th, New York City. Get those fucking Scoop tickets up, now. Gang. It's going to sell out. Also, the AYG card game is available at allyourgarbage.com. Yeah, gang, we love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.